We've got a completely invisible plane. I highly suggest doing it here. It looks really, really weird. Now we're gonna jump out of it. And you can still hop back into it. You get like this weird thing you floating above your head, you destroy everything. This ain't it, she have cut this out, Epic Games need this out. Let's let our voices be heard because I'm too frustrated. Yeah, could you guys stop signing me up to gay dating websites? I understand you want to help me. Alright, so there's a lot of glitches on Fortnite. There's some really cool funny ones that you can just mess around with. And then there's the ones that literally make you lose game. Like those are the ones that need to be patched, okay? I'm going to show you exactly which ones I'm talking about in this video. Because I'm pretty sure it's affected most of you anyway. Like some of these happen by accident and they screw you over in the game it really be like that sometimes it's okay though and another thing i should probably address are these fake quote unquote exposed videos going around about me they're not even true or they're completely out of context i'll talk about it at the end of the video if you do want to hear that if you don't know anything about it then it's not even true so it's not even worth knowing but watch the video to the end if you do want to know like the video for 10,000 v bucks the case my last giveaway of december all you have to do is comment your fortnite name or something you follow me on and like the video and you can win 10,000 v bucks i've done a lot of giveaways for christmas to give back so literally just like it and comment your thing and then if you don't reply within 24 hours i'll choose someone else but everyone like on this video literally every single one like on this video i will literally live another day okay for every like on this video i'll get to live one extra day so if you want me to stay alive and continue making content you should probably like the video subscribe to my youtube channel too if you want to see more high quality high tier gameplay content you want to see in your world you want to see content like this on ninja's channel because ninja's not going around exploiting glitches and then asking epic games to patch them because he's actually playing the game normally but i'm messing around in the game and doing stupid stuff so subscribe put my notifications on right now like seriously tomorrow's video is great or the day after I'm gonna show you two glitches right now that are literally screwing people over. The first one you've probably seen in game because it's happened to you, but the second one you probably don't know about, so please don't abuse it, it won't be cool. But watch this video to the end, okay? It's some important stuff. Where are you from, mate? Yeah, Sweden. Uh, I like Swedish people, I like them a lot. Okay. I play on my friend's computer at the moment. They still sound kind of cute, mate. <laughs> not supposed to blush when a guy says that, that's kind of weird, it's okay. I put push to talk on now, so I'm gonna show you how to do the glitch. This one's been screwing a lot of people over, you're probably doing it by accident. I don't think anyone knows how to do this properly, or well, you probably know if you're purposely trying to do it. There's this glitch where you get like this weird effect around you, where you jump and you're destroying the ground and everything around you. You just need one of these boys to do it, and you can land like this part of the map to actually do it. I tried to send Epic Games an email, I'm gonna show you later in the video. I'm trying to actually get this patch, but like, they do not care. But literally just line up like around here you want to make sure you're like kind of under the thingy like that thingy and then you want to jump out so just line your seat under it and you can see it. you get like this weird thingy floating above your head you destroy everything this ain't it she have cut this out epic games need this out badger mate huh? kiss me right now bro Never mind, guess I'll die. I'm back on push to talk now, but what usually happens when you do this glitch is you get like this weird aura around you. So if you run into stuff, you like literally destroy it. You just walk into stuff. If you jump, you get like the infinity blade effect where like the, everything goes blue from like the lunge attack. It basically replicates that. You probably see glitch ninjas doing it in the background to so credit to him, trying to like show you that it happens on the train as well. But not the train, the plane. <laughs> I to confuse that. Like the whole effect of it all carries on here. You can literally see it right there. And the worst part is you can't even build while this happens. I'm seeing it, I'm trying to make it go away. You can see it's working or you've got it because you've got this thing on your screen and it sucks, okay? Because you can't build. Everything you go into, you destroy, so you're basically dead as soon as you get into a fight because it'll be accidentally breaking everything. It's like the worst glitch ever. Okay, my rant is over. I just had to like, let you all know this because I know it's been happening to all of you and I really don't want all the tryhards in the comments telling me that they've actually going to win without this. But you can see that this, this is how the glitch works. I don't know how to get rid of it. You can do like a respawn if you're playing in playgrounds. But, like if you're playing in playgrounds, it doesn't really matter. I guess because this is a glitch that's affecting people in actual games. I've literally had this happen to me so many times in a match. Please fix Epic. But knowing my luck, they're probably going to copyright strike this video for showing the glitch. Yay. I just respawned so I can show you that it does in fact come off if you actually respawn. But that doesn't really matter because it's in playgrounds. And if you're in playgrounds, it doesn't really matter if you have it on or not. I'm about to show you another glitch as well that's pretty overpowered that I haven't even seen on YouTube yet. It might be out there, but some guy abuses something online to beat me and it was kind of scummy. I watched it back. It's a pretty cool glitch. Keep watching the video through to see it. Kiss my ass. Okay, that's what's my friend. <laughs> yeah, tell him I'll kiss him anytime, man. YouTube. Hey, sorry, mate. What the? Hell? See this? What the? F Do you see it over here? Yeah. It was on my head, and then I respawned. It went there. This glitch here was disgustingly overpowered. I'm not gonna say I even found it, cause I found some dude who did it to me online, and then I checked the replay and saw how he did it. So it literally makes your plane slash you fully invisible, and you can fly in the air while being invisible. I'm gonna voice over this part, cause I didn't explain it too well in the video. You wanna land at this point in the map, cause it actually requires some setup slash landing your plane and stuff to do it. So this plane right here is perfectly set up to ready do it. So you don't have to touch it. So it's good only lodge and land here. So then pick up this plane and build like 
this thing around here that I just built. So you'll see some platforms in the ground and some above it. Don't move anything at all. Literally, just don't touch anything. You sit yourself exactly where I've seated myself on the plane. So you can see I'm on the left wing right here. And then you just literally shoot into the area I'm shooting into. So just keep spam shooting over here. It literally doesn't matter. You can just spam shoot until you notice that the plane is taking damage. And the fact that the building on the left is taking damage. That's when you know you're actually doing it correctly. If both things aren't happening, then you're not doing it right. You need to readjust your shot. Please use a shotgun, okay? Like, I don't know if it works without a shotgun. Because the guy I was, like, watching the replay did it with a pump. So that's what I'm doing with a pump. Once you do this, you'll notice that the structure should be close to breaking to bring like a decent amount of bullets in case you miss but you don't really need to chew too much and oh my god that took a little bit too long we've got a completely invisible plane i highly suggest doing it here it looks really really weird people probably spot you solely because you can see a little bit of the front part i'm gonna jump in here and say that it's kind of weird because when i saw the guy do it online i literally couldn't see anything but i could hear it so i guess it can glitch out even more you can see your entire body just flowing into the sky but that's literally all they can see they can see like the little blade right there and they can see you and that's that's actually it i've even tried jumping out of the plane after doing this that's probably something i should test that it actually remains invisible after you jump out because I actually don't know for sure yet but that's basically how you do it I don't think I've seen this on YouTube yet but I'm sure someone's done this before me I'm definitely not the founder of this this game has literally 5 million players okay like chance of me or anyone even being the original guy to find a glitch it's probably really low considering how many people are playing this game I've got the entire thing working I'm pretty sure your entire body will be visible or they might not be I don't have anyone to actually test to see if I'm actually invisible I could be fully invisible for all I know but I'm pretty sure they can still see your body okay I'm stopping the plane. Now we're gonna jump out of it. And you can still hop back into it, I think. Oh, can you hop back in? I have no clue. Can you not? The plane is still here, but after you jump out, I can't really seem to hop back. Oh, this llama's in the way, so I'm actually to kill him. And I jump back into this. It's over here. You can see, like, the health and stuff. But you probably want to remain in the air, because if this does make you fully invisible, I can't even see any of the blades right now. I, it's still fully invisible over here, but the thing is, like, you probably want to stay in it after you do it. It's probably not a good idea to jump out. Oh, it just went minus 44. No explosion either when it destroys. It's really buggy. And this is the part where I literally email Epic Games. What could possibly go wrong? We're going to tell them about the glitches or whatever. Just that they don't actually ban me from making this video. So watch the Just let our voices be heard because I'm too frustrated. Hey, could you guys stop signing me up to gay dating websites? I understand you want to help me in my life, but I, I, I don't want to be signed up to gay dating websites, please. Like, it's okay. Like, I'll find someone on my own. This email isn't real, by the way. Right before I click submit, because I know all of you are going to still continue signing me up to weird website. Stop doing that, please. Your name, Shotgun Plays. Your language, English. Well, this is technically on all platforms. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Use the drop down selection that best describes your inquiry delete epic whoa i don't want to do that one count linking upgrade there's not even one that oh wait you can scroll down there's a wheel okay i think this counts as lost progress okay we're contacting epic games today i do not care what goes on i don't know which one i'm supposed to actually resend i'm happy okay i think it counts as lost progress okay describe your problem how can we help you hello epic games I want to talk to you today about a problem I have been facing playing your video game Fortnite. I am getting a glitch where literally getting blue particle stuff around me. I know it's hard to understand. This ain't it, Chief. It really be like that sometimes, I know. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, let's hope that they actually receive this email and decide to patch this glitch. I have to try and do this capture. I don't know what that even says. If I mess up this capture, then I think I literally have to rewrite all of this. I'm going to copy paste this, okay? Please stop trying to sign me up to weird dating websites. Like, I, I, I'm not actually gay. Like, stop. There you go. Thanks for contacting us. Your message was received. All right, there you go. Now, Epic Games have definitely... Well, have they got a support email? Should I actually try that? So, I'm going to put, like, a really, really, really short one-minute guide on how to get a lot of XP. It's like a little exploit slash glitch and people think it doesn't work but it does. So here you go, a more condensed version of the guy. Then I have more stuff after this so keep watching it through. But you can use any controller, this doesn't work for my computer. You can use your, using what I'm about to tell you right now, you can probably figure out what you should do some keyboard as well. So if I look at that, you can see that I've got my thing connected, whatever. So you just need a rubber band and you like put it down on this thing. I'm getting XP for surviving this long and for the amount of people that die, you can see I've outlived a lot of people. This is what you need to do to actually get like the max skins on this is just outlive people, gain XP, whatever. I'm just gonna like jump off for the sake of it instead of waiting. Because you won't be here, you can't actually return to lobby because you need to hold it down. Which is why this is useful for overnight because the game will end on its own, you'll get kicked out and then you automatically start a new one. I don't know if there's a trick to make it so it holds down at the end. I don't think 
think so. But the matches don't take too long. I mean, if you're okay, good, but now you're okay. The match will end on its own. It's okay because you have your thing held down. Literally, just putting the thing on triangle will start the new game. Just to repeat. So if you leave your thing on all day, then probably not gonna have a good win loss ratio. This is only one match's worth of XP. But if you leave this on overnight, eight hours, and while you're at school for six, seven hours, then literally combine that, and you can get five to ten levels a day. Okay, so I said at the start I'd make like a little part in this video where I talk about these quote unquote exposed videos that I made about me. I'm going to try not to talk about any in particular because you'll see why in a second. So the reason these all even came up in the first place is because first of all, there's people like making fake DMs on like Instagram. That's what like the first one started of me saying I hate my fans, all this stuff. And they gained traction somehow. Like I don't even know how this stuff gets popular, how people believe it. But and then we have another one where someone took the DMs I sent out of context completely and tried to make me look like a bad person. Made a YouTube video by it, so at least that I would respond to it. To call him out on taking it out of context. I know if you don't know that, like, yeah, I, I don't bully small YouTubers. Not like that. Like, actually, most of my friends are YouTubers, have a smaller channel than me, and that stuff does not matter. So if that's what you cared about, then no, that's not what I'm like. And the dude has blocked all new comments and only approves comments that are like supporting what he says in the video. So I tried to say like this whole video is out of context and explain my side of it instead of having to talk about it in a video. The guy deleted my comment and blocked my channel from commenting on his video. And then he decided to only approve comments that say bad stuff, which is why you've never seen like my side of it, because this guy like completely tried to censor me from his video. I'm pretty sure he did this because he wants me to make a video by it, which is what I'm doing right now. But the trick is I'm not actually going to say his name so he doesn't actually benefit off of it. So he's not one of those people that buys channels and then puts on like really weird videos, like 10 things, Drake Cones, or whatever, that get like 10 million views. And then they sell the channel for money. So I know this because he had like 10 people with a million subs spamming this exposed video in like the community tab so that it gets more views so that they could then sell the channel once it gets big which is the only reason this is happening so I'm not going to say the name but that's all I have to say about it I don't bully smaller youtubers that's a pretty stupid thing to say my best friends are smaller youtubers and if you know me personally you know I'm not like that but that's it if you enjoyed this video go down there and like it okay subscribe to my youtube channel too if you want to see more high quality high tier gameplay and content I don't know what I'm supposed to say like I kind of self promoting myself a lot Guess check out my social media, click the video on the screen, turn on my notifications. That's me thinking of every possible thing a YouTuber can say. But I just click the video on the screen, okay, bye.